Aloha. I fed all the street cats and gave them fresh water. Everyone was fed and accounted for. It was a very quiet morning out there today. There weren't any neighbors gawking at me like there usually is, and the few homeless that were out there stayed in their tents. It would have been a good day to film music videos with the street cats, but I didn't bring down the proper equipment. I did, however, shave. I suppose it was quiet because yesterday was September 11th, a holiday, and today people have to go back to work. You know what my favorite kind of tea is? Reality. That's why I love Monday mornings. I have about five songs on the queue as far as music videos with the Street Cats go. The music videos take longer to film and edit, but I enjoy doing them. I don't usually follow trends on TikTok. My content is what you would call evergreen content. It doesn't matter if you watch it today, tomorrow, or next week. It's still good, especially my long-form stories. The longer the video, the better the story. Having such a strong memory has been a blessing in more than one way. I, I keep going back to what Mark Twain said about a truly honest man never has to keep track of what he says because he doesn't have to backtrack or cover his tracks from something he previously said. Now, at this ripe age, I've discovered how much of an advantage I have with storytelling. I'm not just a great storyteller, well-educated with a high IQ, but I also have a super autobiographical memory. I've lived a crazy life, and I can essentially remember every day of my life as if I had it on film or in an audio cassette tape in my mind. Being honest is a huge advantage in storytelling because people can smell bullshit.